And then uh, you just number them from left to right. One, Real simple. two, three. Then the middle row, or the third row in, is four. Pin in the middle, the very middle of the plate, is the five. And then the six to the right of that. And then the back row, seven, eight, nine, ten. So, that there you have it. The <laughs> diagram that uh, points out the positioning and then the numerology behind the pins. So, let's get to it and bring up Craig Wood and start the seventh frame of this first string. Playing two strings today, of course. And you know, a lot of people on those numbers feel that, oh, well, that's kind of confusing. If you just take the time, if you just take five minutes and, and study it and watch some Ebola game and try to call a few of them, it is so simple to pick up those numbers and uh, it really gives you a much better understanding of the game and you can talk about the game with other people much easier when you're talking about shots that were made or missed. This one here is one that might be missed. This is real tough for Craig Wood. He's got nine though, on the, or at least eight on the spare. Trying to get nine here. <coughs> It'll be an eight for Craig Wood in the box. So, Craig Wood goes 98 after 7. He's 18 over par. Make that 28 over par. Good hit there, but uh, again, this is not going to be easy for him. Mainly because he's got the 4 and the 5 side by each. 7 and 9 in the back row. There you see the shot. He'll try to either split it here or split it here. Nice try. Almost got the 10 to go there. Yeah. Not the right idea. On the other side now, he gets one of those two. Pick him up with the nine. Bill Christopher. Bill, as you see, 22 pins over par through six. It's a tough one for Bill, punching on the left-hand side. Off to the right-hand side of Tad. Gives Reese for hope for Paul Chase and Chris Poporesny who are waiting in the wings. So they watch first Craig Wood and Bill Christopher here. Got both of those. And Bill Christopher goes to 92 after 7. 22 over par. So in that battle for second place, although it's only early, Coming back to take the eight. Help. Bill Christopher, 20 pins up on Paul Chase, 21 pins up on Chris Poveresny. Tough leave here, though. Oh. He's got the two pins on the right hand side. Those are the six and ten. That's what he'll go after. It's one of the two, so he gets an eight. 100 even for Bill Christopher, and Paul Chase steps up. That crashing strike in the fifth. He's pretty good again there. Can we get one more? Yes, he is. And, well, the wood, how's it settling? Well, that wood should be okay for him. As long as he gets a tad high. Here's the shot. Ooh, that's a heartbreaker. Yeah. I, to be honest with you, didn't see exactly where he hit that shot. I took my glance off the lanes. I thought he had it. He got it this time. Never know, maybe, on that one. But it's a 10, and not a spare for Paul Chase. He goes to the other side. Boy, this guy works fast. Hey. Wood coming across the plate, slowly, 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 slowly there. Oh. <laughs> you can hear the crowd. Now he's got a piece of wood up in front, too, that's rolling back and forth. He's... I'm not going to roll on that until it moves right yeah, out of the way. It has to get. He wants that out of the way, and then the other one nose up. Not a pres um, not a pleasant sight. No, he, he could hit that flush on the nose here and drive it straight back with the ball and miss it. Oh, or miss it completely. Yeah, that's really rough there. I'll have him back again. What he wanted, just to the left of the nose, and all went in a hurry. Here comes Chris Poveresny. A couple of tens, it looked might have, like they might have been spares for Paul Chase. It turned only to be tens. Chris Poveres. Well, he's got the backing.
walking in behind a couple of pieces of wood with the one, two, four, but the five isn't behind the one. It's got to be real full on the front. Just a tad to the left. Make this shot work. Ooh. Real delicate. Look at this. <laughs> That Never know. Actually, would coming no. back too, but it's not on the red band. That's right. Had it been on the red band, it was gone. Bang! Crashes through there and makes that good. Well, Chris Poveresny up to bowl in the left lane. Uh, notice his yellow fly is gone. Now, don't look at his pants. We're talking about his. <laughs> <laughs> We're talking about the yellow fishing fly he had on his shirt. Well, he took it off. Uh, and uh, maybe it's an uh, ominous of good things. One more time, we go back and look at this big strike for Chris. Here in the eighth, the fly is gone. So the magic pins. is back. Yes, that's it. <laughs> well, he desperately needed that strike he because sure he was uh, trailing uh, behind Craig Wood, Bill Christopher, who came off the block so quickly yeah. in the first couple of strings. And Paul Chase, too, coming on with a strike in the fifth to go to uh, 82 and two over. Chris Poveresny, though, puts a strike on the board. That puts him at 81. He's one over, just one behind Paul Chase. Yeah. is in third place. And, of course, Poveresny is open on the strike when he comes back to bowl. Yep, and Paul Chase is 18 pins behind Bill Christopher in that all-important battle for uh, second place. He's 25 pins out of first place. So that puts things in a bit of a perspective, but Chris Poporesny just poised now to, to make his move, and may, that might be the beginning for him because he looked for the first time like the old Chris Poporesny, loose and goosey. Could be the turning point for him, but we still have 12 frames to come. We'll come back with the end of the first string right after these messages. We talk to your teenager about AIDS. We often talk to teenagers about uh, drinking and about driving, but when it comes to SEX, the communication often breaks down. If you have not talked to your teenagers about safe sex, this next show is for you. Monday at 11 on ATV. Every day, working together, part of the family, we where you want to be. CIBC, we built something extra into an RRSP, a plan that could help you retire a millionaire. Over time, our 10 RRSP options, including mutual funds and competitive rates, could make it happen. And we'll back it with service, like a tax receipt, usually on the spot. So come in and get us working for you. After all, everybody wants a comfortable retirement. At CIBC, we want yours to feel like a million. CIBC, get us working for you. Well, we did art, we made cubes, and squares, and everything. Mm-hmm. In school? Friends, today I want to tell you what makes Cindy's famous. Cajun cooking, like these back ribs. These little fellas are hard to get around here, but we get them, and then we cook them long and slow. And when you add my special peppers, oh, you can make a mild, medium, or right down hot the way I like them. Either way, you're going to love them real fine. Cajun cooked back ribs at Cindy's, next to Papa Gino's, with free valet parking. Y'all try them real soon. The animated scoreboard as we pop in the names and the numbers. Roll them. <laughs> <laughs> and, of course, the Twilight Zone music. We wouldn't be uh, complete without that. <laughs> Craig Wood at 107, our leader. Bill Christopher, 100, 20 over par. Paul Chase at 82, and chasing him is Chris Poveresny. He's just one pin behind Paul. But, of course, when he gets up, he'll be open on that strike. So let's get to Craig Wood as we wrap up the first string. After this, we'll have another come, of course. And then, and only then, will we be able to determine who goes into the final against the McGarrigal brothers. And Sister Rose. <laughs> well, she'll be in the cheering section. Oh, we're going to give you a... There's a good-looking ball for Craig Wood. If you're kind of watching this very, very closely and uh, uh, get a pen, of, we're going to give you a couple of numbers here in a minute to, to keep in mind as you watch this match. Uh, Craig Wood, just superb here, crashing in the front end. And there you see, he's got them all. So he is... Uh, he, he goes and fits and starts this guy. In one and two, he had spares. 
Nothing in three and four. Five and six, he had spares. Nothing in seven and eight. Now a strike in the ninth. A little backspin on that piece of wood. He's got five on that so far. Let's see what he can do with this one. Gets nine in the strike. Can't capitalize on the spare. The numbers we're going to give you, Jim McDougall is currently uh, in... Uh, Sixth place right now with a 208 total. All right. But remember, fifth place to eighth place is determined by pinfall in the semifinal. Dave Hartnett's currently in fifth place with a 229 total. So you might want to mark that down. Dave Hartnett 229, Jim McDougall 208, and uh, it'll depend on what the two losers get here today. To see where they finish. This is Bill Christopher. Got an even hundred after eight. Would coming back hard on that seven. Yeah. It's yes. gone. That leaves just the Queens. One, two, three. One, three, six. He finds the front pin, and they're gone. Well, this has been the trend. When Craig Wood gets up and does something, Bill Christopher follows in pretty good fashion, too. It's the Queens, and the ball does all three pins up. Yeah. As Bill Christopher goes to finish off this first string, open on the mark, this first ball he rolls, of course, will yield him some bonus pins. And they should go a long way to keeping him in second place. Well, he's on the on verge of chasing uh, Bo Bresny do. He's on the verge also of coming up with his best spring to date. He certainly will, I believe, now. But he's got nine on that spare. Well, he's in real good shape. He's definitely getting his best spring. Oh, but he catches the wood there. It's a tough one there that might come back to haunt him. Who knows when things start to pick up. But you're right, he's going to finish here as long as he gets his pin, and he does for a 129. Yeah. That is his best string, his previous best with a 126 in the first round. And really, Bill Christopher does today have to come up with his best performance, because although he has made it to the semifinal, he did so kind of squeaking in with a 238 in the first round, then a 206 in the second round. Yeah. His numbers aren't quite as spectacular as the other boulders who are here today. Not to take anything away from Bill Christopher. No, no, not at all. It was Kansas Snow, tossed about a 251 and didn't make it. That's right. It just, that's the way it goes sometimes. Mind you, in all fairness to Bill Christopher, sometimes it's the way the game itself is going that dictates where you're scoring. That's right, William. We've talked about that. Bill and I were talking about it, you know, a few weeks ago, how when somebody gets hot, everybody yep. rises to that level. Absolutely right. It's like the Gretzky factor in hockey. Yeah. What the L.A. Kings talked about all last year. Yeah. Somebody said that's the Menier factor in broadcasting, too. <laughs> well, you're so kind. <laughs> Chop oh. through there for Paul Chase. <laughs> well, I wasn't really thinking about it that way. I was just thinking how bad you can make people look. <laughs> it works both ways. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding, Paul. You're good. <laughs> little moonwalk happening down there with the five pin. As Paul Chase finishes <laughs> finishing off here. This wood is rolling ever so slightly. It's kind of wall. Oh, hey, what a, what a shot there. That's a great looking 10 for Paul Chase. That gave him three extra pins, but uh, boy, that's got to bolster his confidence as he uh, heads uh, shortly into that second string. Now, Chris Poboresny is open on the strike here. Chris Poboresny really would like to load this up. He has taken some time. Good hit on the front end. He wants that wood to turn somewhat. It does. Well, he's got six so far, but he's got the ten pin over on this side, and that's going to be tough to try to get something across. At the same time, get the seven pin over here. That's the problem, those two corner pins. If he gets up high here, he may get the ball over, try to twist that back in. Here's the shot. Went low. Tried to drive things over. That, pin, that ball oh, is on the... Uh, well, he's not going to reset until that ball gets no, up. No, and I don't blame him at all. Look at it. Look on at the it, move. Look at it. Look at it. It's no, just it's going to fall off. <laughs> uh, there you saw the reaction or the result of the reaction of Chris Poboresny. He was kind of hoping. He goes back and gets a single pin, though. So Chris right now goes to an even 100. He's 10 over par with a frame to come here. And he is certainly taking aim at Bill Christopher. 29 pins behind him with a frame to come here. So it's 29 less what he gets here in the 10th. So what he'll be at the halfway mark. Off to the right-hand side a little bit. Four horsemen plus the 10. 
little coverage out in front of the 10. Could serve him well. Here it comes. Too far to the left-hand side. Sound effects. Compliments of Chris Poporezny. <laughs> Frank's it up to fire the final ball in the 10th frame for him. It's 9, so he finishes with a 109, does Chris Poporezny. 20 pins uh, out of second place. That being held by Bill Christopher at 129. Craig Wood on top at 135. And bringing up the rear at 102. 27 pins out of second place is Paul Chase. Of course, all that happened in the first string. So all that can change that much in the second string. That's kind of what it's all about. Well, and it can change from week to week, too. Just yeah. how the pins fall and what kind of a pace the others set. Uh, Craig Wood certainly doing it with five spares and then a strike and a nine on that. Bill Christopher with a spare strike on that and a nine on the strike. And then a uh, couple of spares to follow. And Paul Chase, Chris Poberesny, having a hard time putting the marks on the board. The only thing I've got to say about Craig Wood, he's, he's made somewhat of a mistake here because he's tipped his hand. He's tossed the 135, so everybody knows he's going to have a 105 in his next string because he always bowls 240. 240 mm. in the first round, 240 in the second round. The 105 will give him a 240 this time. Well, will <laughs> he continue with that trend and go for a three in a row, or will he uh, improve on that or falter? <laughs> There's only one way to find out. you got to stay with us here <laughs> for the rest of the afternoon. It is semifinal number two of the ATV Men's Maritime Candlepin Championship. Halftime break. We'll be back in just a moment. Experience the feeling of instant response. The exhilaration of power at your touch. The confidence that absolute control inspires. Now, you're ready to experience the 1990 Mazda MX-6. Just before it closes. Ah, yes, Atlantic Choice Lottery. Hey, I see you playing by yourself now. What are you, some kind of fast learner or something? <laughs> what do you got? Hey, good bet, good numbers. Hey, these are my numbers. Where do you think I got them? Slow down! What? Oh. Slow down, speed up. You know, I had a fair... Stop, one. here it is. What? Oh. New Atlantic Choice Lottery. With nine ways to play, the choice to win is all yours. Did I tell them we won last time? It's now or never. Canadians are falling in love with McDonald's new Doubles Italian. Come hold me tight. Tomorrow's too late. Be mine tonight. Tasty mozzarella cheese and zesty Italian sauce. McDonald's new Doubles Italian. Just $1.59. It's now or never. My love. The challenge. Good afternoon, home of the guardian angel. My name is Jennifer, and I'm really scared. Pregnant and feeling all alone? The home of the guardian angel is here to help you through this difficult time. That's why we offer counseling for you, your boyfriend, and your family. An opportunity to meet new friends with similar needs, all in a comfortable atmosphere. We're just a phone call away, the home of the guardian angel. We are here to help. And we're back at Basley Lane's halftime break now over, and we get uh, underway with the second string. And Craig Wood is our leader at 135, six pins ahead of Bill Christopher. And they're pretty excited right now up in Mountain Road. That's Fairlane's Mountain Road. That's where Craig Wood bowls out of, and uh, he is uh, really odds-on favorite now to get into the final. Of course, he has a hole for him, a string to come. But they're starting to buzz a bit up there. Ooh, didn't like that one, though. He'll just shake that off. It stings at first, but good bowlers put those things behind. Yeah. Get right on the pin there. And opens with the 10. We mentioned before Lena Wood, the wife of Craig Wood, on the show before. Pulls a string there and leaves the 3, 5, 6. Three in a nice bunch. So Lena's taking this one in. Janet and Justin also. Two children. Pretty excited right now, too. Just on the right-hand side. Right 
Craig Wood this time gets one of those two and will take the nine. So Craig Wood goes to 19 after the opening couple of frames in the second string. Add that on to his 135. He's at 154. Bill Christopher up now. To the right-hand side. Punches through a bit. All the time that Bill has been on the show, I just noticed for the first time something about his approach. He steps His first step is off to the left a little bit. And we'll get a chance to show you that perhaps a little later on. Wood coming back there, and he salvages a pretty good nine. But he plants himself. Usually that first uh, step goes straight forward, but uh, for Bill Christopher, the left foot goes off to the side a little bit. So he'll push from the left, you mean? Well, it's just a little unusual, of course. There's uh, as many styles of bowling almost as there are bowlers, I suppose. Can't knock Bill Christopher. There's the foot. Now watch the left foot. It's going to go sideways. See it way out to the side. A little unusual, but it works for Bill Christopher. Carries that excellent 116 average and a 434 high triple. All chase up now. He's a guy that really would like to get a few things going. Here might be his chance. He wanted that shaky three. It was just not to be. All chase. He's 27 pins down in second place right now. Make that 26. There's a shot. That's gone. But Paul Chase. Has some ripples of excitement in St. John, New Brunswick with that shot. Goes over to the other side. There's this one. Down shot there. Hit. He counts a big count of nine on it. Now he's got all kinds of wood moving around. Only two pieces left now. He should have a clear shot at that pin on the right-hand side. This is a big mark for him. If he can open with back-to-back -back spares, puts him right back in it. Uh, this is where a bad case of nerves can yeah. really throw you out. Lays it down. That's Missed it. it. Went to the gutter. Then the hand went to the head. Didn't see that. But you know it really disappointed takes... in that one. Oh. The wood pile settles for nine. Well, I think he ball. got a little upset with himself there. He, he yeah, wasted he no time in picking up that third ball. He just chucked it off. Yeah. Well, he's a quick worker up there, but... Uh, yeah, he's got to be disappointed he missed that great spare chance there. But he does go 28. A little so, PO'd with himself. Yeah, he's only 18 pins now at a second place. That's the good news for him. Chris Poborisny now. He hits well to open, but uh, gets a real tough split. Well, wait a minute, maybe he's going to get a break here. The wood does, He doesn't want that wood to move out of there. And great wood on that 10. Yeah, that, that was kind of too bad because he had it set up here. Real nice where he could have come off here, played the, the ball, and then the pin. Now it's much more difficult, but he does have a nose to work with. He can perhaps bring the ball over. Now he's going to back off a little bit. Take one more look at that. Just a little bit off of the nose and try to get the ball over. This is tough, though. Good count. Went the other way. Look, he was trying to bring that piece of wood back no matter how you cut that one. And he got That's the 10 box. And you saw he did get some action over there. But it's a 10 box for Chris Boberesny. Uh, bowl frame number two of this second string. Before we go back to the order, and Craig Wood, who is our leader at 154. Bill Christopher not far off the mark. Just six minutes down. Ooh. And Paul Chase, despite getting really down on himself after that second box, he's at 130. He's only 18 pins out of second. Yep. So he doesn't want to get too dejected right now. He wants to stay calm and keep his sight focused on those pins and a floor and the ball. And oh, look at this. Great try. Whew. What a great, great effort by Chris Poboresny. And he almost converted that one. Wants for him to get down low here. Looking for his 10. He does. A couple of 10 for Chris Povaresti to open. Takes him to 129. He's 19 pins off the pace. So Povaresti slips one pin behind Paul Chase now. Not bad. In the meantime, Craig Wood off the top there. Well, despite bouncing the ball, 
And going out to the left-hand side, Craig Wood gets some great late action and has only the one pin standing for Mark. That's a nothing to this game. Bang. He's got it. He's got his mark on the third. Well, a guy like that makes it look so easy. And Chris Pavaresny, who's done that in the past, today makes it look like it's the mm. toughest game going. Yeah. Any bowler will tell you that there are days. Uh, yeah, there are days it is easy. Oh. And the day there are the days, boy. It is tough, tough, tough. You can't take a pin down with a submachine gun. No, that's right. That's when I get the corn broom out <laughs> <laughs> and do a little curling. A little curling, yeah. <laughs> Craig struggling in this box. Started that with an eight. With some pressure. Only got two in his mark, though. So he's still, even with the mark, is one under par. Bill Christopher up to bowl in frame number three, 13th overall. And finds the front pin. Leaves himself the two, the four, and the ten. Yeah. He's six down in first place. There's the two pins. He'll try to split them and toss something over, but oh, that's on the right hand side. Well, the door is being left open a little bit here for Paul Chase and Chris Poporesta. Oh, gave that ten a good try. Sure did. So another nine for Bill Christopher. That's a couple of nines and a ten. I say the door is being left open a little bit. It's only a tad. Just a crack. Yeah. Oh, that's got noise. it for the strike. That crash you just heard was the door slamming shot. Whoa! Bill Christopher comes up with a big, big strike in the fourth. Take a look at it one more time. That's what happens when you're chasing a guy like uh, Bill Christopher. You're only going to get so many chances before this happens. So, boy, they are excited right now in Salisbury, New Brunswick. Their bowler has just taken a big step towards the final. Paul look at this. Paul Chase, Chase back came strong. back and he almost got one there. And you got to look back to the previous frame well, when he had that great spare chance and he this just This is missed. really going to be the telling. So second single pin to spare. Telling scene here. Has he calmed down yet? Has he gotten over that last one? Yeah, yeah he, he got this one. That one over for a mark. But see, he could have had the spare. In the, if he had got the spare in the second frame, he would have got nine on it and spared again. And what a difference that would have made. Huge difference. Yeah, you're right. 17 out of second place is Paul Chase. He doesn't want to relent here. He wants to go. Oh, tough. Only four on it. That's tough. So Paul Chase gets four in his mark. That's up again. Oh, boy. Oh, maybe. Oh, uh -huh. if that pin had fall, fallen the other way, yeah. he would have had that nine. Oh, that's tough. Boy, he has uh, missed bears now a couple of times by a single pin. He could easily have four in a row. Gets his ten, though. And he'll give away to Chris Poveresny. Chris would like to get something going here. 18 down on second place. It's Chris Poberesny. Yeah. He's been pinning real well. All nines and tens where he hasn't marked for the first 12 frames. Oh, he's going to have to pin well here. So all nines and tens are striking the spare in 12 frames for Chris. But takes the left side. I'll go to the right side. Hope to come out of this with a 10. Well, that's tough going. Yep. Got another 10 here. That's a beauty. Three tens. Hard to knock the way this guy has been bowling and pinning so well, but uh, he's got a thick mark. Especially in light of the fact that the man sitting that all important second spot is open on a strike. And actually, Wood coming back. Well, this is uh, behind. certainly a, a mark that Chris Poporesny does not want to miss. He's got a little bit of a guide. He can lay the ball in around here a little bit and kick it in. Not too much now, mind you. But a tad. Or he can get right on the pin. One he desperately wants to make. Oh. Let's see the reaction. Bill Christopher 
but that strike is open, and it's only now seven pins out of first place as he chases Craig Wood. All of a sudden, Craig Wood. Uh, Chris Poveresny goes to yep. his seat looking a little dejected. He's had two great episodes with yep. us in rounds one and two, and now finding it so difficult. But you've got to give the guy credit. He's uh, bowled 14 frames. He has a spare, and he has a strike. And all the rest of a 9 to 10. This guy has pinned exceptionally well. Very, very good pinning. And it's keeping him in there. But he's got to come up with some marks. As does Paul Chase. Bill Christopher now starts chasing uh, Craig Wood, as you see it right in front of you. And he'll be open on that strike. So uh, I would suggest right now Bill Christopher is uh, every bit as good as Craig Wood. Because uh, he'll certainly get, I would think, 7 on the strike. So we've got a good battle for first place. And the other two, Paul Chase and Chris Poberesny, in hot pursuit. We could see a four-way battle for top spot. Yeah. Well... Six frames to come. We're going to come back with some more of it in just a moment. The winds of change are sweeping through Russia. The new spirit of glasnost. As the doors open, the artistic heritage of old world Russia, including the almost forgotten art of painting on black lacquerware, is being rediscovered and made available to art lovers of the free world. A beautiful example. The first collector's plate ever created in Russia. Based on a traditional Russian folk legend, this stunning plate with its ornate detail and rich, incredible colors is a masterwork in fine porcelain. This historic plate faithfully recreates the exquisite original painted by Russian master artist Lubomov with fine sable hair brushes using rare pigments and gold leaf in the time-honored tradition of Russian lacquerware. This first Russian legends plate will be issued in a hand-numbered edition limited to a maximum of 195 firing days after which no more will ever be made. Here at the Bradford Exchange, where thousands of plates are traded daily on the primary and secondary markets, analysts see exceptional plates like these first issues escalate dramatically in value. Now this first collector's plate from Russia appears to have similar profit potential. And you risk nothing because you're protected by the Bradford Exchange 365-day money-back guarantee. To acquire your Russian Legends plate at the issue price of just thirty-seven eighty-seven, call this toll-free number now. Charge it to your Visa or MasterCard or order COD. But act promptly while you can still get the first collector's plate from Russia at issue price. Call now to order this historic first, the limited edition Russian Legends plate. For its beauty and its value, it's a possession you'll cherish. And here we are again, uh, ATV Saturday Afternoon Bowling. Uh, glad to have you along with us. And uh, we got a good match going here, Bruce. We certainly do. And uh, these four bowlers all give us a different look at how to throw the ball, how to approach the approach, so to speak. We saw in uh, various series before, Helen Slomley, for example, she goes off the wrong foot. Everybody has their own individual style in this game. And it's really how you feel up the, in the, uh, on the approach that makes you comfortable. We talked about Bill Christopher, for example, earlier. And we're going to take a look at his style right now. So you kind of key on it. Now, watch the left-hand foot. He kind of go to the left hand side here he, he kicks it way out there now to me that's a little unusual a lot of guys will go straight ahead but look how he gets way down low hands up both of them behind him leans into the shot and boy I, I like the style the guy seemed to have everything working for himself there but uh, it's unusual a little bit to the left and then he everything comes through that's Thank just you, another way to get the job done and he is getting the job done today this is Craig Wood our current leader at 174 but uh, he is only Seven pins up on Bill Christopher, and Bill Christopher will be open on a strike when he goes up. Craig Wood off the front end there. Leaves the one, the three, and the six. Nobody can afford to let up at this point. No, absolutely. Craig Wood open with the 135, but he's anything but safe. Big mark for him if he gets this one. And he's bounced the ball badly off to the left-hand side. Well, maybe a sign that he's fading a little bit. Well, he has been struggling. Gets inside there and takes his eight. And uh, I think he may still be thinking back to the third frame when he had a spare, but only got two on it. He slips a couple right there. And he can feel Bill Christopher right breathing right down his neck. Again, he's off the front end a little bit. A little fine. 
He leaves the two and the four a lot of distance over to the ten. Oh, hmm. He gave it the run. Boy, this guy has really performed well. The 118, 122, 115, 125. A couple of uh, 240s for him. And he opened here with a 135. How can you knock Craig Wood? He's had a lot of fun, too. And we've had a lot of fun with him. I've kept the gutter there. So, again, he scores eight. That's three eights in a row for Craig Wood. So he wants to sit down and just sh shake that off and get his game back together. He had it working so well in the first. Now, Bill Christopher's up. He's just three pins up. That's place. all. That's what happens when you drop six pins. You're the leader. The second guy gets closer and closer yeah. while he's sitting in his chair, no less. Well, he punched there on his first ball on the strike. Came back. He only, he's only going to count six himself on the strike. But that's good enough to give him a three-pin lead now. This, uh, and he gets two on the right-hand side to come out of that with an eight. Bill, th th this whole feeling right now, Paul, is that uh, the door is being left open for Paul Chase and Chris Pope Wrestling to make a run at the both Wood and Bill uh, Christopher. Now, the last time we said that, Bill Christopher scored a big strike. And he's certainly capable. Lays it down. Good hit there. That was a great shot. He's left the five, but that was a great, great effort by Bill Christopher. Just off of the right-hand side there, so he drops three pins in the course of two frames, yeah. and it's even now between Craig Wood and Bill Christopher, both at 190. Neither one of them open coming back, and as you say, that really does open the door. All chase here now, Chris just six, Morris. sorry, just 16 pins off the pace. Going to get more? Look at this. Yes, he is. But again, you know what he's left with? Single pin. He's made this once, he's missed it once. Well, the last time he missed on the right-hand yeah. side. Off the wood, on the pin, he twists and turns, the eyes go to the ceiling. You know he's happy to have that one in the can. Paul Chase now, 16 pins on the second place, less what he gets here, and all of a sudden, actually that's on the first place. Well, that single pin in this mark is so important to Paul Chase, because if he had missed, that just oh. been the straw that broke the count. Look at that. That's right, you're absolutely right, but look at this. That is a tough one. He has a piece of wood out in front of that sticks around that's going to help. And it does. He's got six on it. So, play the wood in front high? Oh, yeah. Oh, not that flush, though. He had to try and get it uh, on the end and kick it over. Three very big pins down there for Paul Chase right now. He's got two of them. So he now is 11 pins off the pace being set by Craig Wood and Bill Christopher. Make that... 179 to 190. 11 pins 11 off pins, the pace. Sorry. Chris Poboresny up now. He's just 10 pins behind Paul Chase. So that means he's 21. Chris uh, signaling to Chrissy Murphy to yep. come over and take the ball out of the channel, which she does. Now, Chris Poboresny, who has pinned so well to the first 14 frames... <laughs> As a strike and a spare, and all the rest are nines and tens. Most of them tens. But he's got to start thinking about marking. It's a tough one here. The four horsemen and the five yeah, behind. He's and got it. it. Oh. Oh. Great shot for Chris Poboresny. Well, they're coming from the back of the pack. I just want to make sure he doesn't injure himself in the uh, reaction to these. <laughs> the Look at this. Fly. <laughs> the big yellow fly. <laughs> It's on the chair, Bill. <laughs> Good looking ball there on the, the one side. Three pocket. He's just a little too much on the side. Gets five on it, but you know, this one's not all that bad either. We'll get a look at this one. Let me show you why. He lays, lays the ball on that uh, pin, second from the left. There it is! <laughs> there you see the animation. The Big yellow fly. <laughs> Isn't that great? <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> He's got the coach there. It is really getting exciting now. Craig Wood. The question is, how will Craig Wood respond to this kind of pressure? Well, he's left himself a real tough leave there because he has the four and the five 
and the Sabbath. Can he play the wood in the left? Well, he's got to come off the nose of the wood, try to bring that wood back off the cack. Tick back, I would say. And he tried, all right. Oh, he brought it back in a hurry, and that was a great effort. Ooh. We have got a real dandy shaping up here. There's 10 for Craig Wood. Tens are so important. He's sharing the lead right now with Bill Christopher. 11 pins up on Paul Chase. 17 up. Make that 16 up on Chris Bogoresny. No shot here is the wood on the right. Well, I'd, yeah, I'd, I'd try and lay the ball in on the side here. He's got wood in behind here, but he has to get this across in front enough to try to get over in the four and the seven. And he's all around the seven. Wait a minute. Will it do it? No. Oh, boy. <laughs> Had a lot of velocity, but uh, as you can see, he just caught the end. At least the end of the wood caught the pin. Not the center. Now, Chris Bovarissi is going to go down and retrieve a ball that's coming back up the gutter. Good show of sportsmanship by yep. Chris Pogoresny, as long as he doesn't drop that ball on Craig's foot. <laughs> He's going to slam dunk it right on the toe. And there's yeah, the look, Showing some great poise. Craig uh, Wood had to wait. Uh, the ball was retrieved. And he went right after that pen, uh, the, the pin rather, and come up with a 10. Well, well, you're seeing a lot more than bowling today. You're seeing sportsmanship and yeah. big yellow fly. <laughs> Good looking ball there into the 1-3 oh. pocket. Wow. Well, that wood, is it going to stay or leave? Looks like it's going to stay roll adios. By. Yeah. He's gonna, he's, he'll have to get the ball over. I would suggest he'll try to split these two and toss the pin over. Here it comes. Ooh. That's not the way to do it. No. You see Craig Wood with up. the two tens. He didn't mark, but uh, he will move back into first place in just a moment here. By virtue, oh, that's a tough one for Bill Christopher. There's the seven box, and Craig Wood picks up three pins there. And, of course, so do Paul Chase and Chris Bovaresny as they chase Bill Christopher for second spot. Oh, oh boy. Uh, one and two were hit real hard there. You can see the two is way out of line. But they wouldn't go down, and that's tough. There's your problem right here at the 10. Foreman trying to get inside there. Not the other way. Oh, oh wait a second, wait my. a second, wait a second. Oh, <laughs> well, you got to feel for Bill Christopher a little bit. That uh, that was a real shaky ten. Jumping Gerlins. <laughs> there he goes. Shaky ten is gone now. So Bill Christopher picks up the ten there. Remember now they're bowling through seven and eight. So with two frames to go, he's just three pins out of first place. But Paul Chase is up now. Eight pins out of second place. Mind you. That's on the contention that he gets a couple of tens here. Anything less, of course, that eight becomes greater. He's got to sink a big one here. There is a left with, be left with the feather shot. No, there goes the ten. Ten. Yeah. Wood wrapping on the seven. I can't tell you how important those two pins are. He must get one of them. He's eight down right now in second, and he's left them both. So he slips ten down, and that changes everything. So, Paul Chase here in the eighth. All his fans in St. John, New Brunswick. They've got the lucky charms out. Maybe even the beads right now. They know that their man is in a position where not crucial, but important. But he marks. And look at this. Would he get it? No. Wait. No, it's not going to happen. Oh, that just, no. Okay, that might have filed up a good thing. Well, he's got a great chance to spare here. Mind you, there's pressure on but If he gets in here or there, he'll have it. Ooh, got a little low. <laughs> he got a little bit low there. You see him shaking his head. But he did indeed make the spare. Well, sir. <laughs> Chris Poboresny now. All of Nova Scotia rooting for Chris Poboresny this day. Yeah. He's the last blue noser in the race. He's 13 pins out of second place right now. left the four horsemen. We have got a great battle here. The guy sitting in first place, two frames from now, might not even make it to the final. I mean, when he bowls his two frames, it's uh, too far to the left-hand side for Chris. Well, in our last uh, 
men's championship. If memory serves me correct, we had an all Nova Scotia final. Very good chance we can have an all New Brunswick final here. So Chris Pogorezny goes to make the move on Paul Chase, move into third place. Uh, checking the scoring, we gave you the wrong number there a moment ago. Seven pins only is what Chris is out of second place. Ten out on first. So this shows you how things have tightened up. You got a tough one here with the diamond. And way over on the other side, the, uh, the seven. Well, that's in the case of Paul Chase. There's two very big pins down there for Chris Poveresny. I look for him to be around the nose of that wood. Right around here. Oh, I got too far to the left-hand side. Left them both. Two big pins for him. Woo. That clear of the gutter. Well, Chris, with that to eight, goes to 89-9 over in this string. And comes in at 198, so he is uh, nine pins out of second place. Paul Chase is uh, ten pins out of second place. It's, it's dicey, real dicey. Only got two frames to go. Don't leave your chairs. This is going to be a good one. Stay with us. Once upon a time, there was a guy named Goldilocks who was thirsting for refreshment. But this one was. Uh -uh. And this one? <laughs> so then he moved to Diet Coke, and it was just right. The great taste that Goldilocks had been looking for. Hey, somebody's been drinking our Diet Coke. Yeah. And there he is. Hey, it's the Three Bears. What's up? Yeah. What you doing, my just for the taste of it. Diet Coke. We're here to find out which of these tape players will last the longest and to see whether music makes chickens lay more eggs. There you have it. The yellow bird has entertained the longest. But you're a cell, the one that lasts. And as for that egg theory... Chateau Village and Chalet Hamlet. Stake your claim to a site in Nova Scotia's cross-country ski and chalet showcase. Nestled between Windsor and Chester, 45 minutes from Metro. And just a hop, ski, and a jump from Martok. Site sizes are from 2.5 to 5 acres. Prices from only $79.95 or $7.95 down and $169 a month. Come on down. Come on down to Chateau Village and Chalet Hamlet's cross-country trails and our lakes for skating and ice boating. The weekend welcome mat includes cross-country ski clinics and refreshments. See the back cover of the comics in Saturday's Herald Mail Star and Sunday's Daily News. Trail sites from just $7.95 down and $1.69 a month. Reserve your place close to the action, 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. this weekend. Chateau Village and Chalet Hamlet, minutes from Ski Martok on Route 14. We've had some great matches in this ATV Men's Maritime Candlepin Championship, but this could be the best to date. Not the highest scoring, but the best in terms of close bowlers, and we could be looking at a tie situation here. Well, it could be a four-way tie for first place before this one is over. They each have two frames to come, and there you see the scores in front of you. If you look at the lowest score, you're going down to Paul Chase at 197, but the lowest guy is open. So, Craig Wood, who leads Bill Christopher by three, and he leads Paul Chase by... 13, but Paul is open. Lead Chris Poporizzi by 12. And Rudy Craig is just hanging on a little bit here. He's been struggling. Yeah. Oh, he comes back big, and he's got the spare. What a big mark that is for Craig Wood. And that was a tough one. He had a bunch of them down there. There you see it. He came back. The three moves over. Introduces itself to the five. Four takes the seven. That is a big, big mark. Well, if he... Uh, boy, <laughs> if he gets a spare and a strike here... <laughs> he'll be at 240. I'll tell you what, he is uh, indicating right here that he definitely wants to go to that final. 
and he's getting the job done. And it, for some reason, tradition had dictated in this match today, when Craig Wood seems to bowl well, Bill Christopher gets up and follows, and he bowls well. And he's got the mark again. Another one. Craig Wood, he struggled in this string. He only had one spare in the third frame, only got two on it. After that, three eights in a row, couple of tens. But now when he's really counted on, he's coming through with the big marks. Now, he wants more than this, but if he gets only two on it, he'll have he'll end with a two forty. Same totals that he had in the first and second round. That would be unbelievable. But he's gonna get more than that. Yeah, he really is seven. more concerned about <laughs> getting big mark than a big count on it. <laughs> rather than setting... Uh, you're, you're seeing a happy kind of bowler, thing. right? I'll tell you what. He is real happy with that 110. So, 245. Now the guy under the gun is Bill Christopher right here. Bill Christopher at 207. Is, uh... 18 pins, pins up. 10 up on Paul Chase. And 18. I'm going to kind of center on this battle for second place right now. We're not going to concede to Craig Wood, but he finished strong there. So Bill Christopher right here is going to battle Paul Chase and Chris Bobaresta for the moment. Takes nine there. And that's the break Paul Chase needed because he's only nine pins down now on Bill Christopher. And that's a lot different than being ten down. Boy, the pressure's mounting here. Yeah, Bill Christopher really would like to go up with a mark here. Oh, it's going to be tough. It is going to be tough. He's got the whole right side. Yeah. And we saw Craig Wood spare up one like this just a moment ago, or very much similar to this. And there's a great shot. Oh. Wood coming back, but not hard enough. Boy, that is just an absolute crusher for Bill Christopher. He just hit a great shot there, and he deserved it. Now he'll go to sit down and bite his nails. He gets that pin. He is nine pins up in Paul Chase as we look at this battle right now as Paul Chase will try and pick up 29 pins in the next two frames to tie. Now, I should tell you that Paul Chase is open here on a spare. Off the side, he needs one more. He's not going to get it. He gets eight he got eight. So he still has to pick up a pin. He gets a ten here. Well, let's just wait. He's got two great chances to spare. Just on the far side. Wood coming back hard, but it's going to go in behind. Will it turn a little bit here? Turn no. a bit, come back. He's got a big single pin sitting down there. As he scrutinizes. Well, the not that big, because he's going to have to mark anyway. That's why he needs one more in that story. Gets that. So Bill Christopher, or at least Paul Chase, goes to 215. But he needs 11 pins here, so needless to say, he's got a mark. And if he does mark, probably he'll get more than one, so. Has he got oh, it? He's That's got right. a mark. He strikes. Paul you're looking Chase at one happy came fella. up. Whoa, ho, ho. He came up with the strike. So for Bill Christopher, it's got to be a real heartbreaker. And it's going to put some heat on Chris Poboresny when he gets up. What a battle. Boy, oh boy, Paul Chase. <laughs> well, you saw him looking at the scoreboard, figuring out exactly what he had to mark. do. Yeah. And that <laughs> bonus ball is there. Boy, he hit pretty good there, too. That's Remember, a great bowler. He knows he's got uh, Chris Poveresny right behind him. Like Chris will not be open. It'll be tough for Chris to make it, though. He gets eight on the strike. Paul Chase. Now, the man to beat. Everybody in Salisbury would be real proud of Bill Christopher, though. He bowled his heart out here today. 35 pins. That was Chris Poboresny needs here to catch Paul Chase in the next two frames. Hush settles over the crowd. So a couple of marks. Oh, that is tough. Look at this. He's working them. Once that wood to come back, maybe. It's not going not gonna to do it. Ain't a pretty leave. No, that is really tough. I just got to believe he's got to go way over to the right-hand side and try to chop that pin over on the four and the seven. This is a real tough shot. It could put the wood in play, but I don't think he'd get anything back. Oh, look at that. Right idea. Now the ten could be tough here. 
He's got the 10. Needs to pick up 25 pins, so he's got to have a double strike. With five on the... Well, double strike is going to make it. Paul Chase. Watching this one. Oh, gave it a run. Whoa. Craig Wood and Paul Chase have made it. Bill Christopher, after a great effort, comes up a little short. And Chris Poboresny getting set to throw his final ball here. Made a lot of people in New Minus happy and very, very proud as he goes all the way to the semifinal but comes up just a tad short at 217. What a titanic battle and what a great performance by Craig Wood to finish off with two spares and a clutch strike by Paul Chase to put him in that uh, final. We're going to come back in just a moment. Do you do this too? Does a pencil in your hand start you sketching on any old piece of paper, drawing heads or figures or little scenes or maybe your dog? If you like to play around with a pencil, chances are you have the basic interests needed to help you become a serious art student. Here's how you can find out. Art instruction schools will send you free, without cost or obligation, this simple art drawing test. You take it at home in your spare time. Experts will examine and grade your test. Remember, it's absolutely free. Write to Art Test, Post Office Box 1120, Armdale, Nova Scotia, B3L4M2. Give name, address, and age. Or phone this number, 1-800-268-6256. Operators are waiting. Do it now. Mail name, address, and age to Art Test. Or phone this number now. That's 1-800-268-6256. TV makes you part of the fashion world. FT, Saturdays at 7.30. Every day, working together, part of the family. We're where you want to be. Part of your life, ATV. Why the king? Easy. You come here, you always know you're going to have a good it's time. It's a nice feeling here. It's where we bring our friends. Yeah, and you don't have to get all dressed up. I mean, it's all really relaxed and casual. No hassle. That's right. You never have to worry about having some fun. You just be yourself. That's what I like about the keg. It's steak of the art. Very special steak dinners for a limited time only. The just a thrilling finish as Craig Wood and Paul Chase advance to the championship. We say goodbye to Bill Christopher and Chris Pobaresny. The McGarrigal brothers will join those two in the championship. We'll see you then. Bye-bye, everybody.